Oob day orning may. Welcome back to Minecraft Epic Tutorials with your boy Bob seven 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 seven. And uh, today we're looking at the tell raw command. Ignore all the creepers; they just vibing. No need to to um mess with them. But uh, it's just doing the tell, showing off the tell raw command. It's much easier than my last video where I showed how to name mobs as you can see like these kids because there's no backslashes needed and backslashes are annoying so tell raw is basically an e a better way of instead of doing like tell uh something like this although you can do is tell raw you're very limited and also something like this oh these are all the entities and it's it just it says your name or if you execute from a command block it does as but it has a format you can't change the color or style it or anything like that so that's why you use tell raw for stuff uh here let me give an example like this one we got george saying sup and he's all very colored and nice and that's pretty cool so let's get started so first that just having text in general so this one uh this command block is very rude as you can see and so let's just start with the command. So we're going to do slash tell raw. And then who it's going to at all is everyone. At E is all the entities. At P is at uh, the nearest player. At R is random. And at selected is something. And, or your name. So I'm just going to go with my name. And then you're going to put all your stuff in these curly brackets. For text, you're going to do quotes. Text. Colon quotes and in there is whatever message you want so I'm gonna say but ban ban uh, banana am I right because banana am I right right so that's just having text as simple as that now you'll notice that it goes along the format of quotes uh, colon quotes and then to switch to a different topic like color or styles or selectors which I'll be showing you do comma and then quotes colon quotes you'll you'll see what I mean that by that so now let's have text with color this command block is so rude not nice so let's go back to our banana and over here you do the comma quotes colon quotes as I said before and so in these you say color so we're gonna choose a color and then choose a color I'll put all the what options you have in the description uh, but I like uh, let's go with dark I don't actually oh that that is a color that is hard to read I've done a bad job let's do a dark aqua and as you can see banana am I right because banana am I right is now a different color that's pretty that's pretty cool and now styles as you can see it is bolded now command block is still being very abusive which is unfortunate and to do this uh, it's going to go along the same lines of the comma quotes colon except there is not a second pair of quotes and this is where you're gonna do true or false you'll see what I mean by that so Let's go over here and we're so let's go with one of the style options I'll put all of them in the description below but let's go with underline and then you do the colon but instead of quotes you do true or false but in this case I'm gonna do true and now banana am I right is underlined we'll get into why you would do false soon and that is in multiple stuffs as you can see He's saying you're not in two different colors. Wowzers. And basically the only difference is that now we have square brackets around everything. And there's multiple, uh, uh, whatever these are. Curly brackets. Right. So square brackets, curly brackets, all that jazz. So let's put some square brackets around everything. And then, comma, you have, a, have to have a comma between your two stuffs and this is going to be my second text however I want to style it and it's going to be styled differently so I'm just going to go with banana am I right right and I'm going to do space and then I'm just going to think of another text like you right but spelled wrong cause yeah you know comma color whatever color 
you want. So I'm going to go with purple in this case. And is purple not a color? I feel as I've made a mistake. I don't think. We got to pretend that didn't happen. I'm going to go with blue. You right. Banana, am I right? You right. Uh, as you'll notice, though, the you right, the second part, still is underlined like the first part. And also, I showed this in the last video, but what tends to happen is it follows the first one's property. So if I did not give this a color, it would still be aqua and it would be still be underlined. So, that's something. And now we're going to talk about multiple styles. And so, uh, because I am not crying... Command block's very upset, he says, but that makes me feel worse about myself. As you can see, this is all italicized, and this is bolded. Uh, this one has three different ones, because we have the itali we have italicized, that's blue. Then we have worse, that is dark blue, and bolded. And then we have the rest, which is italicized. As you can see, I did not give this any styling, because it followed the, the first one, which was italicized in blue. So this is italicized in blue. But as for this one... Let's say I didn't want to make you write color blue to not be underlined. All I'd have to do is do uh, underlined, oops, in the same phrase, but instead of true, I just do false. And now he is not underlined while he is. And that's most of it. So here's just an example of something you could do. Like this, the joining game message with tell Ra. So Obama joined the game. Simple, just Obama joined the game, color yellow. Here we have George saying sup. This is just uh, red. And then another one for George, which is dark red. Another one for the end, for the or then sign. And then sup for the white. And that's four of them all together. And now selectors. So this is just an example. And it says me and Du Bois include. And then every single entity that is currently in the world as you can see there's a lot of falling blocks <laughs> everywhere so and then we have all the creepers and entities standing around including myself somewhere yeah there i am hello right so it's not as easy when you do say at p that it actually says at p if you put at p in it it won't work you have selectors have to have a special place i guess so it is with the selector, that's why you put on your quotes, colon, and then whatever selector you choose. And again, it's um, it's at P, at all, at R, at S, and at E, I think is all of the selector options. So let's do it here. So I'm going to make a another one, and I'm going to do selector, comma, and oh just a thing you if you you can't have a selector and a text be in the same one unless you do extra in quotes and then you have some square brackets and another t it's very complicated no reason to do it that way so then we have selector and i'm just gonna for no reason just do at r and i f did i do something wrong should i just do at p feel like it oh i think i did a space right that's good to note. You can't have a space in here. <laughs> At R should still be myself because I'm the only player. And so there we go. It said my name right there. And so here's just some examples like some someone saying your name. Uh, so Bob, you think you could beat me in hand-to-hand -hand combat? It's just the Ron, then the selector, and then the message. And then here is an easy way if you have some sort of character or boss or something as you can see this is this will take a long time to type out regularly but this one i just did at e and i gave him a tag but you could also do name is th actually yeah, do something like a tag or something like that and that'll make it much easier to if you just spawn this guy in leave him somewhere and just get his and use the selector to have him in chat and that's it. That's Soul Tell Rock Man. Thank you for full watching. A lot. All if this. Yeah. You were confused anywhere in here. Just pause the video, and yeah, try to see what I'm doing. I guess. Uh, and also I'll have stuff in the description, like easy stuff to copy and paste, 
and examples and all that jazz. So thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you later.